by default for which variables you will get the frequency counts and percentages for which variables you will get it Character. all the variables of all the variables of a data set by default what information that you will get Any idea that what information that you will get in proc frequency? Ajay. What information that you will get when you write the proc frequency? Frequency, cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, oh, cumulative frequency, okay. Then? Percentage. Percentage, percentage and? Cumulative frequency. Percentage. Cumulative percentage. Cumulative. So we'll get a frequency, count, frequency and a cumulative frequency. Percentage and cumulative percentage. By default, you will get the information and this information for all the variables. But if you want to have this information for a specific variable, what is the statement we should write? Tables. Tables. If you specify only one variables in the table statement, what is the table is called? One way table. One way table. But if you specify two variables, then what will happen? Two way. Two way table. But uh, how will get the if you write the two variables? Uh, asterisk symbol. If you write the asterisk symbol, then what will happen? Sub. Subgroups with first uh, variable. So you will get a analysis within one variable. You will get analysis for another variable. So on the left side variable, you will get within the left side variable, you will get the right side variable, right? Yes. Sir. So when you write a two variables, what information that you will get? Within the first variable, how many categories are there in the second variable then? If you write a two variables, so that means when you write a two-way table, you will get a percentage, you will get the frequency, percentage, you will get a column frequency, sorry, you will get a, oh, yes, column percentage and percentage. column percentage and row percentage. When you specify only one variable, you said you're going to have any, what you call it as an A. Uh, cumulative frequency and cumulative percentage. If you do not want to have a cumulative frequency and cumulative percentage, then what we should do? No percent, no. Hmm. No come and no percent. No percent. No percentage. No percentage. No percentage. But if you do, when you write a two-way table, you will get the row and the column percentages, right? If you do not want to have that one, what we should do? Same thing, sir. You should do the no call. No, no call, no row. No call, no row. Okay. And after that, if you want to save the information to your data set, what we should do? Um, if you want to save the information to your data set. Out is equal to data set. Out is equal to. You can write forward slash. And after the forward slash, you should write out is equal to. Do 
very good. But if you want to know how many types, how many categories that we have in a variable, what is the option you should write? N way. N levels. Mm. Yes, sir. If you do not want to print in the output window, what is the option you should write? No, no print. No print option. So this is what we have seen in the last class, isn't it? Now we are going to continue from that one. So now I'm writing proc frequency. Data is equal to I want to have information for the SAS dot class. Then I want to have a tables for sex variable. But within the sex variable, I want to have analysis for age variable. Now, if I read the run statement, you know how we will get the analysis. So within the sex, I'm going to have age variable. So we'll get a cross table. We call it as in a two way table. And the column dimension, we are going to have an age variable. And the row dimension, we are going to have in a sex variable. So we get the pre frequency, percentage, row percentage, and column percentage. This is called as in a cross table. But I do not want to have this row percentage and column percentage. I want to print this in a form of a table, not a cross table. Now, if you want to print as in a table, so we are going to use an option called no list. So no list option. Sorry, you should write an option called list. If I specify the list option, now this is how it is going to the same information. Now this is how it is going to print. We are going to have this time within the sex age variable. That means female 11 years, female 12, 13, 14, 15. Then male 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now we are getting frequency percentage, cumulative frequency, and cumulative percentage. Previously, when we have a cross table, we used to get a row percentage and column percentage. But now when you specify the list option, we are getting frequency, percentage, column frequency, and a column percentage. Understand this one. Now, and I told you one more thing. What we are going to have here, what we can write order is equal to. By default, we are going to have an internal internal. What we can write, we can write data or you can write the frequency or you can write. Format. Order. Format. Frequency or formatted. So these are the options that you can write. OK. Now, sir, what is the meaning of internal and data, sir? Frequency internal, frequency. internal means so how we have the data by default. OK. And the data it is going to give in the order of the data. Like an ascending order 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Frequency is going to give highest value first. Formatted if you apply user defined format. And based on the formatted format, we are going to get the values. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm writing proc frequency. Data is equal to SAS help dot hot. You know, in the SAS help library, we have a data set called hot. I'm writing the frequency processor for hot data set. You know, in the hot data set, we have 16 variables. So I do not want to have analysis for all the 16 variables. So I want to have analysis for only one, one variable, so I'm writing a table statement. In the table statement, I'm writing a variable called death cost. I need to tell something about the death cost. Uh, Sushila, getting some background noise from your side. Now, you know, first of all, I will go to, I will go to, you know, help library. In the SAS help library, yes, we have a hot data set. This is the hot data set. In this data set, we have 16 variables and 5,209 observations. Okay. In that one of the variables, we have a death cause. In the death cause, you know, we have information about if a patient has been died, we have a reason. What is the reason why the patient has been died? If the patient is still alive, you will have a missing value. Okay. See the status is dead. That death cause is a reason. So other reason, second subject patient, he died because of the cancer, and eighth patient, you know, he died because of other reason. Tenth patient, he died because of like a you know, cerebral, you know, vascular disease. So we have death cause variable. In the death cause variable, if we have missing value, what does it mean? That means the patient is still alive. If you have any value, what does it mean? The patient has been died. 
understand this one now i am going to write this depth of cause variable in the table statement so i'm taking the depth of cause variable i'm copying that variable now i'll go to the program now i am writing depth of cause here can you see i have written already depth of cause now tell me if you write a depth of cause in the table what are the values that you can expect in the data set output window you know we have like this one why the subject has been patient has been died we have other reason we have say for example heart problems and we have cerebral vascular disease or we have a cancer now these are the reasons now see we are going to have how many subjects has been died because of other reasons so that we are going to have a count which means we are going to have a frequency then what you will get by default you will get the percent and then what you will get you will get the cumulative frequency and then you will get cumulative to cumulative percent isn't it now see i am getting the same information now you know depth cause here because of the cancer 539 subjects has been died because of the cerebral vascular disease these many people has been died because of coronary heart disease 605 patients because of other reasons 357 because of unknown reason 112 okay now say for example what are the total subjects i told you total patients in this data set we have 5209 5209 you know out of 5209 tell me how many subjects has been died because of various reasons so give me a rough idea rough value 539 plus 378 just imagine this 2000. is 540 this is 380 2000 around so uh, around 2000 because 540 plus 380 it is going to be you know 620 plus 920 920 plus 600 1520 1520 plus 350 okay 1870 1870 plus 112 1970 1982 almost 2000 so that means how many patients still alive out of 5000 5209 if the roughly 2000 patients patients has been died then what is the remaining value 3000 200 200 For three thousand two hundred nine sub patients, what is the death cause value? Null value. Missing value. Okay. Missing. Now, now here we have a cancer. Five hundred and thirty nine people has been died because of the cancer. What is their percentage? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. And uh, you know cerebral vascular disease. What is the percentage? Eighteen point nine, which means almost nineteen. So twenty seven plus nineteen. Which is going to be you know forty six, forty six plus thirty, seventy six, seventy six plus seventeen, ninety three, ninety three plus eight, ninety eight. Almost you know what it is. If I sum up all these percentages, then what the total percentage is going to be? Hundred. So nineteen hundred and ninety one people has been died. So and their percentage to hundred. You know what it is doing now. it is calculating percentage from the dead people so it is taking you know 119 1991 as an 100 percentage out of 100 how many you know what is the cancer percentage if 539 people has been died what is their percentage now 27% but this is not a true percentage how we what is the true percentage can be You know, five hundred and thirty-nine divided by five thousand two hundred nine. So, out of total patients, how many have been died because of the cancer? That is what I want to have. But what is the problem with the proc frequency? Proc frequency will not consider the missing values. It is going to consider only the non-missing values. So. in the death cause we have almost 3220 missing values it is not considering those missing values that's why you will not get the true percentage understand this one now if you want to have a true percentage actual percentage you know what we should do we need to consider these missing values also 
in you know depth you know in this variable if you want to consider the missing values also now you know what we are going to do we are going to use an option called missing now i'm using a missing option after writing the missing option now can you see how we are getting the analysis now now missing also has become missing also has become main part of the data now the missing values of what is the number of missing values 3218 out of 5209 subjects now the missing percentage is 61 that means still 61 people are alive now can you see how many people has been dead because of the cancer 513 what is their percentage now 10 point you know, previously previously we got 27 percentage now can you see what the cancer percentage now 10.3 we should get this percentage this is the actual percentage so by default proc frequency will not consider missing values if you want to get consider the missing values what is the option you should write we should write an option missing. called missing missing option understand everybody is this clear everyone okay now and the next one that we are going to discuss is you know why we use the proc frequency process what is the major purpose of proc frequency we use a proc frequency for frequency counts and percentages but we have one more important application of the proc frequency proc frequency data is equal to i am writing the sasl dot class i am writing the table statement you know what i want to have i want to have chi square analysis do you know about the chi square do you have anybody who can who knows the chi square what do you mean by chi square Okay. I want to have a chi square analysis. Now I'm writing a table statement. Now I'm writing sex into age variable. I want to have a chi square. Now I'm writing chi square. Now keeping a semicolon. Now write the run statement. Now select this program and execute the program. Now we are going to have a chi square analysis like this one. Of course, you will get sex into age. Along with that, can you see what I'm getting? I'm getting chi square value, and then I'm getting likelihood ratio value. and then mantel hazel sun hazel chi square value we have a phi coefficient we have a contingency coefficient and we are going to have a cramer's v value and then we are going to get the probability value understand this one so if you want to have a this chi square analysis so in the entry they are going to ask you what is the purpose of proc frequency apart from that frequency counts cumulative frequencies and cumulative percentages what are the other information that you can get from proc frequency what we can get we can get the chi square values to get the chi square so what we should do table sex into first variable into in the second variable forward slash chi square but i want to save this chi square analysis into a data set if you want to do that one now we should write an op statement called output all and then you should write out is equal to data set name i am writing the demo data set and then i am going to you know what i want what information i want to have i want to have a chi square information then i am writing the run statement now if i execute the program i will get the analysis in the output window and at the same time the same information will be get saved into a data set called a demo now can you see the same chi square analysis we are going to have probability value we are you know contingency value cramer's value phi value we are going to get all these values as a sas programmer you no need to know about all these things just we are going to generate the report according to the specification in mock shell and we'll submit that is not ever duty to interpret the results the bio statistician is going to interpret the result and he is going to write the medical writing that is his duty our work is to write a program write a program and generate the report and submit the report understand this one everybody clear with this one no. and one more thing that we can do this is how they are going to analyze the data based on that they are going to find the normality of the data how the quality of the data they are going to check the quality of the data then you know whenever we want to have any graphs for our data we use a processor called you know proc g chart we use a processor called proc g plot and we use a processor called you know proc sg plot 
these are the processors that we use but uh, if you want to generate a basic graph we can also use a proc frequency okay now i want to generate a graph now i'm writing say for example proc frequency in the real time we never use but by using proc frequency also we can generate a basic graph now i'm writing proc frequency data is equal to sas help dot class okay now i'm writing a table statement i want to have analysis for sex variable then forward slash now we should have an option called frequency sorry we should write plots is equal to plots is equal to now i want to have a frequency plots i am writing you know frequency plot now keep a semicolon now write the run statement now if i execute the program by default this is the graph that we are going to have can you see on the x-axis horizontal axis i'm getting the sex variable on v axis vertical axis i'm getting the frequency by seeing these graphs we can understand you know we have female nine members we have male 10 members understand this one so what you are getting by default we are getting by default frequency but now tell me i want to write this same graph for age variable now i'm writing age here table is plots frequency plots and this is how i'm going to get it 11 years we have two members 12 years we have five members 13 we have three 14 and 15 we have four four and we have 16 only one student but i want to have highest value in the first position then gradually i want to have the remaining value that means i want to have highest frequency in the first position if you want to have highest frequency in the first position what we should do order is equal to frequency now if i specify order is equal to frequency now this is how i'm going to get it and by the way by default what is that vertical axis value we are getting frequency but i want to have a percentage if you want to have that one now within the parenthesis now we should write type is equal to what type of bar that you want to have by default i want to have a bar diagram and the scale is equal to i want to have a percent now i'm writing this time scale is equal to percent if i execute the program now this is how i'm going to get it can you see we are getting the percent it is almost 26 percent 21 percent 21 percent then 16 percent almost and this is 11 percentage and this is five percentage but instead of you know bar diagram i want to have in a dots now i'm writing dot if i execute the program this is how i'm going to get a dot plot understand this one So, but we never use a proc frequency for the graphs. We have dedicated graphical processors and we use because SAS is going to be generated high resolution graphs and that we can get it by, by using graphical processors. And after the statistical processors, we'll discuss about those graphical processors. Clear everybody? Now. I am giving a task. If you are interested, you can do this task. I am giving a mock shell to you guys. What I am expecting is, I want to have a report in the same way. So you know what, about the SAS algorithm. Yes. What is mock shell? Mock shell means a skeleton. It is going to have an, uh, I can say, it is a template. Okay, oh, it will not have any data, but when you are doing the analysis, we should generate the table exactly that what I am giving that mock shell. Like a mock shell alone though, you should write, you should have a table in the same way. Now, this is the mock shell I am providing you. Okay. Now, here, I want to have female. Here, I want to have male. Here I want to have female, and here I want to have a total. Or uh, instead of total, I want to have an overall. Okay, I want to have a line like this one. Now, here I want to have total weight in kilograms kgs 
here I want to have average height in centimeters. Here I want to have, you know, maximum BMI in height divided by meter square. Now you should generate males total weights like this one. Average height, I want to have a two decimals. And I want to have maximum BMI, I want to have one decimal. I want to have a report exactly in the same way. Use a SAS help dot class and generate a report like this one. Understand this one? Can you, you know, this is called mock shell. Somebody asked me, what is a mock shell? This is called a mock shell. It is a, just a template. So that means how many integer values I want to have for males? Total weight in kilograms, two integer values, one decimal. Each X stands for one digit. Can you do this one? No, forever convenience, I'm telling you, you should use proc means, okay? And you should use proc transpose. And you should use proc report. And you should use data step. I'm giving the clue. You have to use these processes, then only you will get this report. It looks very simple and silly, easy, but it requires a lot of programming. If you could be able to do this table, in future, we are going to discuss about the tables and listings in clinical. If you are coming to the clinical domain, we are going to discuss about the tables and listings. 50% of the tables, you can do it. Not even 50, you can do it 70% of the tables. That must standard table it is. I'm giving the clue. You should use the proc means, proc transpose, proc report, and data step. Can you do this one? Okay, sir. yes. Sir. After that. Since we have completed the proc means, proc summary, sir, proc frequency, yes. Sir, Maku macros and a topic, Erojo SAS banking lot here, sir. Maku topic, you could only, sir, SAS. Yes, basis IP and Darvata, macros and Tunan. Okay, sir. Are they SAR comes under important and not under macros comes under advances. Okay, sir. Are they Maku put away topics of Kunado? Are they tell you at Leru? Okay. Macro Shipner Banking. Uh, starting a project uh, macros and a topic to model better. Tavarumic faculty banking? Uh, Saru Chesi Vinod, sir. Erosum um, yeah. proc tablet is Kaches uh, yes, So today and tomorrow we are going to have a proc tablet. Okay, sir. And uh, tomorrow is going to be Wednesday, right? Thursday. And Friday, Thursday is going to be a proc univariate. And Friday, we are going to have one graphical processor. Monday, we are going to have one more graphical processor. Tuesday, we are going to have ODS. From next week, Wednesday onwards, we are going to start macros. Okay, sir. Okay. And macros okay. is going to take five to six classes. Okay. And after that, we are going to have a proc SQL. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, the next step that we are going to discuss is a proc tablet. A proc tablet is a very important and very powerful processor. Okay, we use a proc tablet 
to generate descriptive statistics descriptive statistics and frequency counts and percentages that means what the proc proc tablet can do proc tablet will do what proc means and proc frequency has done proc means and proc frequency has done but what a proc tablet can do along with that one it can generate the report in a tabular format tabular format and not only that one it can generate the report up to three dimensional it can generate up to three dimensional since it can put all the information to a table since it can print the report in up to three dimensional put we can put a lot of information okay lot of information into a simple a sing, uh, in a small table since you can keep so much of information to a small table proc tablet is a very very powerful so i can say proc tablet is equal to okay proc means plus proc frequency frequency plus proc report it has got all in one that's why I can say PROC tablet is a very powerful processor. Okay, so PROC tablet is useful to generate the descriptive statistics and frequency counts and percentages, just like in a PROC means and PROC frequency. But it can generate all the report into a small table. It can put all that information to a small table. It can print the report in a tabular format. And it can print the table up to three dimensional. So you can keep a lot of information in a small table. So that's why PROC tablet is a very, very powerful. Understand this one? Now, how to write a PROC frequency, PROC tablet? If you want to use the PROC tablet processor, we are going to write a statement called PROC tablet. Then data is equal to for which data set you want to generate the report. And depends upon our requirement. Here we are going to write a few options here. Then okay. now, if you want to have a table or report, the mandatory statement you should have in a table. In the table statement, we are going to specify a variable. So if you want to request for a table, what is the mandatory statement you should have? You should have a table statement. But remember, if you want to write any variable in the table statement, that variable must be present either in the class statement or you must have that variable either in the var statement so if you want to write any variable in the table statement this whatever the variable that you are writing here this variable either it should be present in the class statement or it should be present in the var statement then only we can write that variable in the table statement generally what variable that you keep in the class statement in the class statement, we keep categorical variables. And what variable that you keep in the var statement? In the var statement, we keep analysis variables. That means in the var statement, we should keep only numerical variables. You know, categorical means in the you know anything can be it can be a character variable or it can be a numerical variable. And this is called proc proc tablet data data set name then depends upon a requirement we are going to a few options then you should write the table statement in the table statement we write a variable but if you want to write any variable in the table statement that variable must be present either in the class statement or the var statement you know, so many people they don't know about the true power of like a you know, proc tablet so that's why they will go with the individual proc means and the individual proc frequency then they will go with the proc report but uh, proc tablet has got everything in it okay now what i want to do i want to explain the table statement first with the class statement then i will explain the table statement with the var statement 
then I will explain all the three statements together. Now, to explain the proc tabulator, what I'm going to do, I am going to take a data set called a class and I'm creating this class data set from sasl.class. Okay, while I'm, I'm using here in this way, I'm along with the five variables of sasl.class, I want to have a two more extra variables. The first one I want to have in a BMI, but BMI is equal to you know that I am writing, you know, weight divided by height whole square. I am writing weight divided by height whole square, then into 704. Now, this is the formula I'm using. Then I want to have another variable called age group. Now I'm writing if age in you know 11, comma 12, then I want to have an age group. Now I'm writing age group is equal to I want to have it as an end. Else, if age in now I'm writing say for example 13, comma 14, then I'm writing age group is equal to I want to have an middle. Okay. Now else, if age in 15 comma 16, then I want to have, you know, then age group is equal to, I want to have an adult. Now tell me by the way, what is the length of age group? Anybody? Five. 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 But since we have five, only five. five, when we have a middle, it will not get all the value, then what we should do? Right. Statement. Where we should have the length statement? After in this scenario, you can add even after also because the age group is not present in the SASL class, right? So we can write before this age group. Now I am writing the length statement. I want to have a variable called age group. It is a character variable. Maybe I want to have length 10. Now, if I select the program execute it, now I am going to have work libraries class data set this is the data set that i have along with that uh, five variables uh, now we have two more variables which is bmi and age group now i want to use this data set uh, to explain proc tablet now i am writing proc tablet data is equal to i want to use the class data set okay now first of all i am writing the class statement in the class statement i am writing a variable called sex Keeping a semicolon, then where we should have this variable if you want to have a table? That variable must be present in the table statement. So in the table statement also, I am writing the sex variable. Now write the statement. Now how we are going to get that? You know, class statement will give the data categorically. What do you mean by categorical? That means how many categories we have in the sex variable? Male and female. Okay. Now we have okay. a two categories. So then we are going to have a sex variable. You know what we have in a female. Then sorry, we are going to have an F, and then we are going to have an M. By default, you know what we are going to get? We are going to get an count or number. Then you know, tell me what is that count? How many name? How many females that we have? We have nine females, uh, and how many nine females that we have? Ten males. Ten males. This is exactly that how we are going to get the report in the output window. So now that means if you specify any variable in the class statement, now you will get the categorical table and this is how we are going to get it. Can you see? We have a sex variable. We have two categories, F and M. By default, what is the status I'm getting? Can count number how many, how many females and how many males that we have. Now tell me, if I write the same program for age variable, tell me what should I write now? I am writing proc tabulate data is equal to class data set. Now I'm writing the class statement. I'm writing age group. Then I'm writing the table statement. In the table statement also, you should write the age group. Now tell me how we are going to get now. You know how many how many categories that we have in the age group? Three. Three. What are those we have? We have adult, we have middle, and we have an A. Yeah. And then by default, what you are getting? What is the value you are getting? We are end. getting the end. Understand? Uh, then you know, adult we have in a five members, and then we have in a middle seven members, and then we have an end seven members. So total is going to be nineteen. This how exactly we are going. Now see, if I select the program, execute the program. Now yes, we have adult five members middle seven members and end seven members. Now tell me if I write the program like this one, I am writing proc tablet. 
data is equal to class data set. Then I'm writing the class statement is variable. Then I'm writing the table statement is variable. Tell me how we'll get the table now. Yes. Oh, we are going to have analysis for age variable. Yes. We have 11 years, so then 12, yes. then 13, 14, 15, and 16. And by default, what is the value we are getting now? By yes. default, we are getting the counts and value. Now this is how we are going to get the end value. Then you are going to get uh, the count. Now we have 11 members, 11 years, two members. 12 years, we have five members, 13, three members, 14, four members, 15, four members, 16, one member. This is how we are going to get the analysis uh, for age variable. Clear everybody? Now I'm going to make it a little bit complicated now. Now I am writing proc tablet. Okay, data is equal to class data set. Now in the class statement, I am writing the sex variable. So in the table statement also, what we should write? Sex variable only. You know, say for example, if I didn't write the table statement, you know what is going to happen? Now, if I go to the program, I'm not getting the table. Now, if I go to the log window, this is the error that you'll get. No table statement has been specified. So, table statement is a mandatory statement. Now, tell me how we are going to get the table if I write like this one. We are going to get six. We are going to get how many types of values that we have? We have two types of values, two types of categories, F and M. M. Then by default, what is the value we are getting? We are getting the count. Now we know that uh, how many females that we have? Nine, how many males that we have? 10, isn't it? Now in the class statement, I am writing it two variables, so, you know, sex and the age group. Now, if you have any variable in the class, where we should have this variable to get the report now, to, to get the table, that variable also must be present in? Table class table. in the table in the table statement i'm writing that age group but most important thing is when you're writing a two variables in the table statement what is the operator that we have between the two variables can you see what is the operator i'm using between the two variables here space yes when we have a space operator you know what you are going to do we are going to get a sex table and then we are getting age group table and you will get the both the tables side by side concatenated. And if any tables are signed, I will get two tables and both the tables are going to come side by side. So that means sir, now I'm going to have next table. What is the next table I'm going to have? Age group. How many types of age group that we have? We have an adult and then we have an middle and then we have an end. You know why I'm getting Adult first because alphabetical order A first, then M, then N. So then by default, what we are going to have now? We are going to have an A N value. So this is how we are going to get. And after that, now we are going to have a report like this one. You know that we have an adult five members, and we have a middle seven members, and we have an N seven members. So that means how many tables I am getting now? Two tables. But how I am getting both the tables? I am getting side by side. Will we get concatenated like this one? So then the first table on the Nikanaku sex table. And what is the second table that we have? Age group. How we have both the tables? Side by side concatenated. Understand this one. Now I am writing now proc tablet data is equal to data set name. Then I am writing the class statement age group. Now in the table statement, also I should write the age group. Tell me what we are going to get now. I'll get only this table, right? So. Now I am writing now the next variable sex. Now we should the sex variable where we should write that one. That we should also write in the table state. Now tell me what will happen now. Now after the age group table, what is that table I'm going to have now? Sex table. Sex table. So that means that this table will come over here. Now, in the class statement, I am writing A's. Now I'm writing A's also here. Tell me what will happen now? How many tables will get? Three tables. All the three tables come? Side by side. Side by side. Okay. Now see, I'm selecting this program. And I'm selecting this program. I'm executing the program. Now this is how we are going to have. First of all, A's group table. Then the sex table. Then the age table and all the three tables will come side by side.
clear everybody now this time i am writing proc tablet data is equal to data set name then i'm writing the class statement in the class statement i am i'm writing a variable called you know sex tell me if i write like this one where we should the table now where we should that variable now in the table state in the table statement also i'm writing the sex now tell me if i execute this program what will happen now how are you getting that it's to you are getting you know sex in the sex how many types of values we have f and then we have an m by default what we are getting we are getting the frequency counts now tell me how many we are who we are going to get the value now we are getting 9 here then how we are going to get now 10, 10. now tell me in the class statement now i am writing the age group now i am writing the same variable here in the table set now tell me what will happen now we will get age groups age group where we'll get that one we'll get the adjacent side side, by side right side uh, m now what i am doing you know why i am getting side by side because we used to have we used to, we have a space delimiter space as an space as an operator now i am changing from space into asterisk symbol now when you specify sex into age group you know what will happen now now this is how we are going to get so first uh, now data is going to get divided based on the sex now how many types of values will we have in the sex we have two types of it. what mm. are the values that we have f and m m m now within the f now we are going to have an age group so now in the females we are going to have an adult we are going to have a middle and we are going to have a young again within the males what we are going to get now we are going to have an adult we are going to have a middle and we are going to have a young so now now we are going to have female adult female middle female young and value and again male adult male middle and male young how many students that we have how you know female adult we have two members female middle three plus two plus two four and and we are going to have young three middle and 13 14 2 plus 4 yes 2 plus 4 6 plus 3 9 and adult we have three middle we have three and young we have four 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 sir so now tell me how we are getting the report now now the data is going to get nesting within the sex we are getting age group age group so if we have a asterisk d operator this is how we are going to get now within the females we'll get adult middle young and within the males again we are getting age group adult middle and the young clear everybody now i am writing now proc tablet data is equal to data set name class then i am writing the class statement in the class statement i am writing age group then where we should that variable again you should write that variable again in the table statement i am writing the run now you know that we are getting only age group adult middle young counts but now in the class statement i am writing age group and sex now i'm writing both the variables now in the table statement but what is the operator i'm using in the table statement now space, space. if you have a space how we are going to get both the tables side by side side by side but if i specify the asterisk symbol now tell me what will happen now within the age group sex yes. very good within the age group so that means now how we are going to get the analysis now first the data is going to get divided based on age group age. in the age group how many types of age group that we have adult then we have an middle and then we have an young now tell me within the adults what we are going to get now we are going to have an females and males again within the middle females and males within the young again females and males then what we are going to get now by default now we are getting the counts 
Understand this one? This is Hoggier code. Select the program and execute the program. Now this is the report that we got. Within the adult females, males, within the middle, be females and males, within the end of females and then males. Clear. Clear everybody. Yes, sir. We'll continue the remaining things in tomorrow's class, okay? I will continue the talk tablet in tomorrow's class. Okay, then. see you tomorrow.